you do teach other classes uh, at the RC, and you mentioned that you uh, are part of the Semester in Detroit program. Mm -hmm. um, I guess, could you first just start off by saying, what is Semester in Detroit? What are its goals? What do you do there, its purpose? And um, what has your experience with that been? Yes, I would love to. Um, so I think Semester in Detroit is a fabulous program that everybody, frankly, should consider. Um, so Semester in Detroit is, as its title suggests, um, an actual kind of like exchange program, right? Where you are abroad, right? You're studying in Detroit is the distance you're traveling, um, but the, the, it's located in Detroit. You are there for the term um, and it combines experiential learning and classroom learning, right? So you are there um, doing an internship with um, some of our community partners at the same time as you're taking the core courses in the program. And, and you can do essentially the whole program in one semester. Um, everything about the Semester in Detroit program at its core is this notion of reciprocity, of having reciprocal relationships um, with sort of between sort of U of M and the city of Detroit. Um, and I actually, um, I mean, one of the things um, to be a little bit more personal, I think that gave me pause when applying to the position at U of M is the relationship, <laughs> the history historical relationship between the University of Michigan and the city of Detroit, um, I think has often been exploitative on the part of the University of Michigan. And so I think one of the things that we try very much to do as folks in the program is think about how we make reciprocity the center of what we do. And so we're often feeling uncomfortable about our relation with our community partners and then the university more largely and what the university might be doing, right? Because the sort of the bigger things that U of M might be doing in Detroit or deci decisions that they're making in Detroit are separate from our little program, right? And so I think everything we teach in the program is about sort of centering the community, right? And centering, learn, how do you learn about a place if you are an outsider? And not all of our students are, right? Sorry, my cat is joining us. If I don't know if you can hear her, if she's knocking the camera around, I apologize. Um, but not uh, like uh, some of our students are Detroiters, right? Um, so it, I think it's very much about um, how can we give back? How can we learn from what it is we're doing? Um, uh, and it has a very um, social justice oriented focus. Um, the courses, um, there's a history course that you take, a history of Detroit course. Um, and then the other core course is an internship reflection seminar that helps students sort of process what's going on at their various internships. And then there are two electives that students can choose between. Um, sometimes students take them both, sometimes they pick one. Um, one is um, often a grassroots community organizing course that focuses on environmental justice. Um, and then the other is my course, which is called Detroit Artist is Activist. So it's essentially all about this connection between the arts and social change and how um, for many, 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 many years and centuries, Detroit artists have been using art to sort of try to envision the world in a better place, um, challenge the structures that currently exist, um, and for us to think about how might we even use the arts to do that. So not only are we, is it sort of like, um, a humanities course in that we're looking at different forms of art. It's also a creative course. So we're in fact doing art and using our own creative process as we engage with the city of Detroit. So the final project ends up being um, in some way a creative exploration of one's own experience of Detroit over the past semester. Yeah, and could I have you just go into that class, Detroit Artists as Activists? what is sort of the class content of the class? Who and what do you explore? And also, how does it relate to the broader themes of Semester in Detroit? Like how do you tailor the class towards those goals and those purposes? Mm -hmm, absolutely, yeah. So um, we look at a range of different types of art. So I'm a poet, and so in some ways my bias is often toward poetry. So we do explore a number of Detroit poets, um, Robert Hayden, Philip Levine, Jamal May, um, uh, Jessica Caramore. I'm not going to keep naming them all, but these are just a few that are coming to my mind right now. Um, but then one of the things I, I really love about the course that I've also worked really hard over the past three years that I've been teaching in the program to do is that it is also based 
based in a, a number of different art forms. So it is not only a creative writing course. Um, so we also take a look at visual arts, um, music, um, muraling. Um, we, we, we use this larger textbook to ground us in the course, which is called The Art of Protest. And it takes a look at um, protest movements in the United States from the 20th century to the present. Um, and how art has been an important part of those movements. So to give you a specific example, how say songs and singing were a critical part of the civil rights movement or how um, say visual art was a really important part of the ACT UP um, uh, movement for AIDS awareness in the 80s and 90s. Um, and so we just look at how these various art forms, performance, let's say, as part of the Black Power movement, were really integrated deliberately and, and ended up getting results, right? With actually connections to social change that, that, that people were working toward. Um, so we kind of use that as like our backdrop. And then within that, I bring the Detroit focus, right? So trying to just bring Detroit artists in front of people, sometimes literally, right? I mean, we have a lot of guest speakers come into the course, um, but we do explore um, things like say Sacramento Knox, who, um, um, is uh, a Chicano and Ojibwe um, Detroiter who uses all sorts of different film music. He's a DJ. He's basically crossing genres as a way to build community and um, uh, strengthen and uplift, you know, his entire community. So even sort of um, things like taking ownership of vacant land and trying to revitalize that for the purpose of the community. There's a number of different art projects. I also work with the Tuxedo Project, which is another project which is based in how do we um, transform um, blight into places that create um, richness and address community need at the same time, and that are based in um, the community's own desires and needs. Um, so just the ways that the arts connect to all of that. And then also, I, I think one more thing I should mention is, you know, some of the um, more famous Detroit um, arts, like the um, DIA, um, and the uh, Diego Rivera industry murals that are at the DIA. So the sort of more um, historical famous pieces of art that students may have known. And if they don't, that's fine too, but may come into the class already knowing a little bit about, but thinking about that history as well. And so I think that ties into the program in all of those sorts of ways of thinking about understanding Detroit historically, and in particular, um, understanding the ways that dominant narratives about Detroit are both misleading um, and racist um, and false and do damage to everyone involved, the people of Detroit, as well as the people outside the city. And so really looking at the ways that artists from the very beginning have encountering those dominant narratives. All right, well, Darcy, this has been a wonderful conversation. I very much enjoyed this and I hope all our listeners enjoyed this as well. Thank you so much for your time and for helping us out today. And um, yeah, so have a great day, Darcy. Absolutely. It's been my pleasure, Robert. Thank you so much for this opportunity. And welcome, everyone. Bye.